One month before the start of this year's CSEC and CAPE examinations, the Education Ministry is still in discussions with the examination body to push back the examination dates. This although the Caribbean Examination Council, CXC, says it will not. CXC, in a release today, said the exam schedule was determined following an agreement at its council meeting in December 2021 by representatives from participating governments and any adjustment would destabilize the regional consensus. However, as you'll hear in this report, more than 60% of students in Jamaica set to sit the exams say they are not ready. A survey by the Education Ministry on the readiness of students for regional examinations this year has raised concerns in the education sector. In providing an update Friday, Education Minister Favel Williams explained that in light of concerns about the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on this academic year, the survey was conducted between February and March this year. And out of that survey, we surveyed 2,812 students and 1,754 of them really had concerns. They expressed the need for additional time to prepare for the sitting of the uh, national, these, these exams. Ms. Williams says the ministry had raised concerns with the Caribbean Examination Council in Barbados even before the survey. When we look back at, at what we've done, we would have raised the concern with, with CXC back in January of 2022. And again in March, and these would have been oral as well as written concerns. In every conversation I've had with CXC, we would raise it. Students preparing for both CAPE and CSEC examinations were limited to online classes up to December last year. Face-to-face -face classes resumed in January, with some schools still facing challenges. It's why Ms. Williams says she will continue to advocate for the exams to be pushed back to a later date. I've asked her for an urgent meeting so that we can convene uh, that with that body uh, for us to present our case to them as to why we believe uh, the exams, the dates should be pushed back and some of the other accommodations that they made last year, we're asking for those as well. Um, we believe that our students in Jamaica and across the region have been significantly impacted. The CXC office has suggested that students who are facing challenges may defer their exams to another sitting. But Ms. Williams believes that should not be the only available option. And there's been widespread, ob widespread objection to CXC's position about the upcoming exams. The Jamaica Teachers Association, JTA, says there appears to be a reluctance by the examining body to demonstrate that it is in touch with the realities facing the region students. While well, the president of the Caribbean Union of Teachers, Dr. Garth Anderson, is calling for an overhaul at CXC due to a lack of leadership. Dr. Anderson now joins us live via the phone. Dr. Anderson, welcome to Primetime News. Good evening. Good evening to you and good evening to your viewers. Good. First of all, from concerns about questionable results in 2022, concerns about prioritizing the welfare of students in 2021, and here we are again today in 2022 where CXC is being taken to task about the approach to the sitting of the exam external examinations. What are your thoughts on all of this over the past three years? Well, it's a clear demonstration that we do not have the leadership at CXC that is needed, especially in a time like this when we are in crisis. And so that kind of leadership that is necessary is just not there. And it is something that we have to look into carefully. We have keep having a repeat of, of the same kind of action each time. And uh, it seems to me our uh, ministers of education will have to look seriously what is happening at CXC. And if you ask me, stop protecting CXC. Because CXC, in my view, is hiding behind the ministers to say they have made the decision, but we know fully well that the ministers weigh heavily the proposals put on the table by CXC. What are these proposals? There's clearly, clearly a serious constipation of ideas at CXC and a, 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 a leadership deficit that must be addressed as a, a very important regional body. All right, you speak about the leadership in particular. Uh, the, the CXC board, they have said they had a meeting and they came to that decision. What difference, what changes would you want to, to see in terms of leadership and that decision? Well, when, when you talk about decisions, and, and I, I've heard that, clearly things have changed. 
And so they should be able to pivot. What are the options placed on the table for the decision makers? And as I said before, the decision makers, to include the ministers, weigh heavily whatever proposals they put on the table. What I can say from what we have seen is one proposal. We are going to do full-fledged examinations as though we are in normal times. That's the same playbook last year and the year before. And we, were back at, we are back at it again. So we have a problem. Do we have the kind of technical leadership that is necessary at CXC? That is now in question. And who does CXC, you know, who, do they report to anybody? <laughs> okay. Uh, who, holds apart... them, who holds them accountable? All right. They are holding, they're holding their stance. To themselves. They are holding their stance. So apart from unions, what role can regional leaders play in advocating for the change? Well, clearly, the ministers of education have a constitutional responsibility, a duty of care to the students under their remit. And I'm happy and supportive of our own Minister of Education, Minister Williams, taking a stance, trying to get her colleagues, who are clearly hiding from the stakeholders, to come to the table to discuss the crisis. So we, the CUT is fully supporting that move, and we hope that the ministers will listen to their stakeholders, their students, their parents, because we have been reaching out, we have been calling, Calling. To date, we have no response from the chair of COSAD, no discussion taking place. And so CXC is a law unto itself. That is what is happening. This cannot uh, be allowed to continue. It is untenable. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Uh, President of the Caribbean Union of Teachers, Dr. Garth Anderson.